you guys i'm so excited i just got home and have this package at my door omg so this is a huge huge box and i'm actually not that excited because i can show you all what this is without opening the box because it's a replacement of my electric fireplace and excuse the course, we're gonna work on that this weekend, but I was really excited to get this fireplace, but when I put it up, I started hearing like a weird noise in the background. It's almost like a turning. So I contacted Amazon and they sent me a new one. So I wanna show you all some of the light functions. Oh, so pretty. So I'm going to take this one down and put my new one up and hopefully I don't hear that sound anymore. So I've taken the styrofoam out of the box and this is the fireplace and these are the little crystals that come inside of the fireplace. They go inside of the fireplace so I'll sit those on the table and this is the actual fireplace and the heat comes out of here the top but I'm not going to turn on the heater I just got it for the aesthetic okay so let me take it out the box so I can show you all so here is the fireplace and it comes in one piece inside of the box and then you also have the packaging and inside of that you get the remote batteries are not included and some screws and here's the model number for the fireplace itself and I think I'll link it down below as well and of course the little diamonds that I showed you all earlier there's also a bracket on here that you attach to the wall and I'll show you all that now I'm not taking the bracket off my wall so I'm just going to take this one off and put it back in a box like it's another one back but this is the bracket and it has a screw here and a screw here and you have to take those unscrew it and then use the screws in the packaging to attach it to the wall so let me take that off so and it's just a tiny screw and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side okay taking both screws off and this is the bracket that you attach to the wall and once I get the other fireplace down I'll show you the bracket on the wall okay so I'm going to try to show you all how I'm going to remove this and there are two screws here these silver screws on the in the instructions they call them white so that was like a little confusing but these two screws here they have to come off in order for you to move this front piece off the fireplace so i'm going to go ahead and do that now so i've just removed all four screws and now i'm going to go ahead and lift this up which i'm going to have to do off camera but i'm going to lift this up to remove the front piece okay so the top piece is off and i wanted to show you all see those little hooks right there they slide right into these here and as you can see, the place that you put the 
crystals. It's very narrow. It's not that big. So this is the place where you hook the front of the fireplace and you use the screw it in. I don't know where the other screw is, but you screw those in to secure it. So now, almost done guys. There's a bracket underneath here, two screws, and there's another two screws up here. I'm going to go ahead and remove that so I can take the fireplace off the wall. Now, I, this is underneath. Let me see if it'll focus. Okay. Now, these screws up here are attached to the fireplace, and these two here are in the wall. And I'm just using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these, but I actually use a drill um, to put them in a wall. Screws are removed, and this is a bracket that goes at the bottom of the fireplace. Okay, so once you get that front piece off the fireplace, it's not that heavy. I removed it myself from the wall, and I wanted to show you all how I place the mount on the wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the other one on and I'll come back and show you all when that's done. Okay, I'm back and I put this up here by myself and I went ahead and put the crystals in before I mounted the fireplace so I wouldn't have to try to figure that out later. The only thing I'm trying to figure out now is remember when we took those two silver screws out? One was here, and the other one was here. Look at that. Um, there's no place on this one for me to screw anything in, so that is very odd. And I still have the defective one down here, and I'll show you all. The screw was here and one was here so i can't figure that out i'm just going to go ahead and secure it with the one nail that and i took one nail out of that one i mean one screw out so that was strange and with this one i took two out so that is strange but i'm going to go ahead and secure it and turn it on and hopefully I don't hear that knocking sound again. Okay guys, so I'm done and I have the fireplace back on the wall. And but I'm still kind of bummed you guys because I can still hear this thing in here churning. I'm going to put it close to see if you guys can hear it too. Okay, I'm not sure if you all can hear it, but I can still hear it making that noise. It's faint. You won't be able to hear it when the TV is on, but I wish I didn't have to hear it at all. So I'm just going to leave that up there. Disregard these cords. I actually ordered a cord concealer from Amazon, and it's over there in the corner. And I'll mess with that this weekend. But I wanted to show you all how this looks. And I love it. And let me go back up here. Okay, so you also have buttons. Let's focus a little bit. It won't. Okay. But you have the on and off button, the dimmer. Oh, there it goes. The heat, the temperature, and the timer. And again, I will not be using the function on this is just for the aesthetic I did not want to get a regular credenza or TV console to put here I opted just to get the fireplace because I feel like when I um well if I was to buy a credenza 
or a TV console. I don't feel like I needed to buy more stuff to put on top of that. And at least with the fireplace, I don't feel that need to want to put, you know, I don't need to put anything on, on the fireplace or anything. I am going to get a um, bar cart to go right over here in this little area. And that'll probably be it for this area. So, okay guys, I will see you in the next one. I have been shopping, but there has not been really any good or newer items in our stores lately. So, I haven't shown you all any Shot With Me videos. Maybe the stores will have some good stuff by this weekend. Oh, let me show you all. Let me change this. Let's see. Oh. Colors. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to turn on the TV, find me something to watch, relax, and I will catch you all in the next one. Okay. So you all won't believe what I just did, but I took fireplace number two off because it was making a lot of noise and put fireplace one back on because it was a little quieter than fireplace number two. And I'm glad I did because I want to show you all something. Ugh, let me get over here. Hey, remember when I talked about fireplace number two only having one screw? Can you guys see that right there? There, two places of screws on fireplace number one. Fireplace number two. Where's the other hole? There's no hole here. So, I just wanted to show you all that real quick. And I just wiped down fireplace number one because I had fingerprints on it. And I'm going to put it back on, and I'm serious this time. I will catch you all in the next one.